Hey guys, how are we all doing? Welcome back to the channel. Yes, it's been a long break again. I'm so sorry. But today, I'm going to show you what life's like on dialysis at home. So the plan is to try, if it all goes well, show you the whole process properly. Uh, I've got a second camera here, which is my phone, showing you all the stuff that's involved in getting um, dialysis ready from home. All the equipment on my trolley. And I'm going to try and show you as much as I can from the limited space I've got in this room by showing you what the process is. So I guess the best thing to do is to get on with it. So let's get going. So from our table here, first thing we're gonna grab is the buy cart. Now this buy cart, oh, actually, <laughs> first things first, I need to turn the machine on, that would help. Then we take our buy cart and we pull out this. Now this is a clean cart. This is what we put in at the end of the last session to clean up the machine ready for this session. So this is going in our medical bin that I've got in this corner. You don't really need to see that. And we take the top off, bottom off, bin them, and then slap it in. Make sure it's in properly. Clip that in, that's on. Second of all, back over here, we're gonna grab the big bag at the bottom. This is our, oh God, drop everything else in the process. It's our soft pack C295. That's just the alarm to tell me it's on. Don't worry, nothing's wrong just yet. So this bag, you won't be able to see it from over there, but it goes on the back of the machine using this hook, which I'm just gonna put on here because it's a bit awkward. On this hook, as you can see, and this is gonna go on a small hook at the back of the machine. And then we next take this, this red bit, that's the machine coming on, just excuse the sound. And I'm gonna attach it to this bag that we put back, back here. I'll give you a proper view of the machine once it's all connected, so you can see what I'm on about back here. So, I need to connect it that, and there's a little seal on the bottom to stop it leaking that I've just snapped. So now it should feed into the machine. And I have to confirm on here that we're on the C295. I don't know if you guys can see that. Don't know where it went for a second then, but that's done now. Next step is we've got two saline bags. One is a one litre or 1000 mil and the other one's a 500 mil. So we're going to take these and hook them on the top here. There we go, so they're both hooked onto the top now. Thinking you can see those. I'll explain what everything's for and the purpose of it at the end as we're on and it will probably show it a bit better. Then we've got this, which is the filter, we like to call it the kidney because it essentially does the job that the kidney is supposed to. So you can see all the little fine fibers. Let me get it out actually and I can show you a bit better. So as you can see, loads of fine little filters in here that the blood runs through. And that's going to clean the blood of any toxins in there, which is essentially what your kidneys do. Although, when you have no kidneys, you can see the issue here. And that's going to go on our little clamp here. So that's to start us off. We've got all the main things attached. The last thing here is our blood tubes. So the blood tubes are essentially what it says on the tin. They're the tubes that take the blood through the machine. So I'm going to show you now from here how to do this bit. So we've got the red one first. I like to flip it over. These are always loose to begin with. So I like to tighten that, bring the red clamp down, clamp it. Then we've got a loose bit there, take that off. And then there's a small clamp here and another one here. Clamp them, take it out. And we start off with the main bit that we just tightened with the big clamp on. Take the cover off that, take the seal off the one litre bag and we'll stab it in 
It's quite stiff this, I think it's a bit of a comfy end eh? And then we get this round flimsy bit as you can see if I untangle it, <laughs> it's a bit faffy. Make sure the really thin wire is on top. Open up our pump, which essentially spins the blood through. And then we all can get this right. Put that in there, feed it in. Twist it round. And then once it's twisted round, we close it in. The next step is clamp that in there and then attach the red bit to the top of the kidney. I'll tell you what, I can probably bring you guys a bit closer. Hiya. Might be able to see a bit better there. Right, so this is what we've got so far. Got the red attached, then we get a bit with the round bit on the end attached up there, that's our detector, that means that if that goes towards that, there's too much pressure in the machine and it will cut off. So then, we feed the tube down here, and this is the air detectors, so if any air goes through them, and again, the machine will cut off, because we don't want any air in our system. And I think that is the red part done. Oh, let me flip that over, sorry. So the red is on the bottom. Now back over to this camera, we have got the blue, which is similar, but the red's the arterial, the blue's the venous. So the red is taking the blood from us, the blue is putting it back into us. So this one's got a large chamber which holds the blood and feeds it back at a steady rate. This bit, we need this bag to be tightened. And then, Take that out, put this big bag, sorry you can't see me, take this big bag, slap it on the top with the other bags. Now I'm going to clamp the clamp on the top of the chamber and then we are going to feed this, bend the chamber a bit, loosen it up so we've got a little bend in it. Open up this part and we are going to push it in and close it off. Then the blue round bit goes onto the blue detector and then this long bit, can you guess, goes on the top of the kidney. Then we take the bit beneath the chamber and put it through the air detector. Oh, a bit stiff this, but okay, that's through. Tidy up after myself. That is done. So that's the setup. Now we have to start the first flush, which means unclamping the red now, so this fluid starts to drip through, and we'll start the pump on the screen. So at this part, this is where I weigh myself, do my blood pressure, and we always have to keep track of that to make sure everything's on track. So we'll start off with my, uh, my weight. So here we've got our trusty scales. And I always try and keep consistent with this, so I'm going to take my hoodie off, as that's what we normally do. And the weight is 72.1. We're aiming for about 70, so that means I'm 2.1 kilos over. So we're going to, have to put 2.1 on the fluid to take off in this session. So we're going to go top of this, set the time. The time's always three hours for us. So 300, UF volume 2.1. Okay, so we've got that set up. Let me keep track of that in the book. Oh, I need to confirm that the blue ends up. Sorry about that. Um, next on the side is our blood pressure monitor. So I'm just going to sit off to the side here. In fact, I can sit up here and do it. Doing my blood pressure. I've completely forgot, I've not done the emergency line yet, which is still on our trolley. So once this is done, I'll get that set up. So the blood pressure's come up on here. If you can't see it, I don't think you can. It says 131 over 89. 
of a force of 83. So that's, that's pretty normal for me. So that's okay. Now let me put this line in quickly. So this bit goes to our small bag and it's essentially, if I go into a hypo, which basically means my blood pressure suddenly drops and I either lose consciousness or go really dizzy, we can feed some of this saline straight into me to get some of the fluid back, which should bring my blood pressure right back up. I don't know why that was a struggle. So just to finish it off, I need to feed the fluid through, make sure it's all coming through okay. There we go, it's come out into the bag, and then we attach that. There's a little one down here that we clamped earlier, and then that bit is for later on, that's where I'm coming off. Now we've got our on off pack. This is the stuff we need when as accessing my line. So we've got one for coming on, uh, putting ourselves on, and one for taking ourselves off. So I'll show you now on the other camera what's involved in these. So before I touch it, I'm just going to anti back our hands, make sure they're as clean as possible. So then, grab the corners, don't want to touch anything inside here because it's sterile, apart from this bag. So this is our waste bag. Smart thing about this is use it as a glove to move stuff around our field. So we can access everything, no problem. We've got swabs, that's a clamp which we don't need. We don't need that needle either. They're like for fistula, um, to strap down the fistula and hold the blood tubes, but we're gonna use them to hold the shield up for our line. That's the shield for the line, so that will protect from any spillages when accessing the line. Our syringes and our gloves. Now I just need to grab out of the drawer another two syringes and we need four alcohol wipes on the field and two for accessing the tubes. So I'm just going to put these on the field and keep sterile. So we're not actually going to touch the syringe, we're just going to open the pack onto it. And then, there's, so we've got four syringes, and then the same with the wipes. So we just tear, tear, squeeze, drop. Syringes. That's for taking off. And at this point, we're pretty much ready to go. Right. So this bit is all—it's all primed now. We just need to grab, flip this tube around. Well, first of all, take the kidney off, flip it around, put it back on, and then tilt it up because we need to Let's take this off first. <laughs> I'm trying to think about this. Normally, I normally don't do this bit, so. Normally Lily does this bit. So we attach one. Keep them for when we come off. Grab this one. Put that on. Tilt it down. Make sure they're both on properly. And then fluid bypass. Start the blood pump. And then now this bit see the chamber here we need to fill this up by turning this bit on the side because we need to make sure there's enough in there as a stockpile in case the pressure goes up at least I think that's what it's for if anyone knows more than me please correct me in the comments So we're almost at attaching now. This is the part where I need to access my line. So if you're a bit squeamish, I'll set a timer to the bit where we're attached because this bit, it's gonna show the line on my chest. Um, so if you're not squeamish, then feel free to watch on. 
if you are, just a quick warning now. Right, so we need to, is that we're taking the top off? Um, we're going to anti back our hands again after just washing them. This is where we're getting sterile, so we need to be as clean as possible. Get the anti back. We're going to start off by grabbing our shield, which we have here. And we're going to grab that, flip it around, and put it on using the gauze, uh, the, the gauze, the uh, fish slot tape, as we're not using a fish slot just yet. Grab one on that side. I mean, these don't have to be sterile now. So that holds a shield up. Next up, we're grabbing our gloves. So we're going to unfold them. Now, there's a special technique to this. So, we need to grab the bottom, feed my hand through. So, we're not touching any of the other oh, I've ripped it a bit, but that's okay, it's on the bottom. I'm only going to be using the fingers. So, as long as they're covered, we're okay. Gloves. Then I like to make sure the airs are the syringes, so we're just going to pump them through. Then we're going to take two wipes, there's one, open it up. Oh, we almost dropped that then. <laughs> two wipes, and we're just going to wrap it around both lumens give them a good clean so they are sterile as well. So as close to sterile as we can be. Right, so now we can access the line. We're going to take off one cap, grab a wipe and clean the inside of it. Make sure it's as clean as possible. I'm going to grab one syringe, put it on the end, unclamp and take about five mils out. So we've got the lockout from the last session. Get rid of that, take a second syringe, attach it on, unclamp, and then just draw back, push it in, make sure it's all running smoothly and there's no clots or any tension in there. Now we're going to leave that syringe on, ready to attach, whilst we do the exact same to the other line. We're going to unravel that, clean the end, scrub the hood as our nurse likes to say. Shout out Michelle. Scrub the hood. Get rid of that. Get one syringe. Put it on, one clamp, five mils, grab another one, tighten, unclamp, and just draw back and brush in. I feel like there's a bit more tension in this one, so we're going to do it the normal way anyway. And clamp. So we're going to skip to the part where I'm, I'm getting put on now, so I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, so now I'm going to unclog this and this magic hand reaching out from the side is giving me the red line, which I've now attached. Okay, now we've got the blue line coming to us. So we take that syringe off, grab the blue line and attach. And all we're going to do now is unclamp and start the machine. So I'll see you when I'm on it. So at the moment we're just waiting for the blood to come round into the detector down here which you can't see on camera, but where the uh, where I talked, said before that the uh, detector is. So that's going to cut off to say that there's blood in there, so we can confirm it. There we go. So the screen is on, so we're going to do confirm, ultra, <laughs> ultra filtration, oh, and stop the pump. No back filtration, okay. And then we're going to put the pump up to 200 to begin with. Make sure everything's running okay. 
So we're at 200 currently. That's 200 mils a minute, by the way, I'm bored. Uh, seems okay, so now we're going to bump it up to 300, which is our normal speed for a combined. That's normally th around 350 for people who are using fish toys. Okay. And then this is our heparin which is to basically thin the blood so it doesn't clot in the machine. We're going to take that out, pull back to the shield, take off the cap, and we have a red port in the red line that we're just going to stab this in and try that again. Stab that in, there we go, and push it in. There we go, and we're all good to go. Right, so now I'm on the machine. I'm holding the camera now, so sorry if it's a bit shaky. There you go, all set up, running. Got two hours 53 on the clock. So, I'm gonna spend the next three hours sat here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think, and whether this is how you expect a dialysis to be, and what the setup's like. I look forward to seeing more comments and likes on the video, so, if you enjoy, please like, subscribe, and hopefully I can provide some more content in the near future. But for now, take care, and I shall see you all next time. Goodbye.